the flanking, I definitely want to be cavalry. I think I will win that. If I lose that, it's not really the end of the world. I've got backup. We'll try it. Are they running some of their people away? They're running all of their people. Is that a straight up? Yes. Okay. Do it. Lock in. Lock in. They are about to get sandwiched and die. My magistrate died at age 81, by the way. I'm going to walk there now that they've locked in. They're moving here, and I'm going to sandwich them with both armies and kill their entire stack of armies with a giant pincer attack. They just fucked themselves over. If they had played more carefully, they could have really slowed me down. Okay, uh, who do I want as my new this? Collection of taxes? This is important. I want someone loyal. This guy, he's 18 and he's as talented as these guys. Increases my national tax, which is very important. God, what an idiot. Why the fuck would that guy do that? What an absolute moron. And he's just going to walk up there and try and unsiege that? He's going to waste his time. Okay, and he's locked in there? Okay, I'll cross the straight then. And then we, we pincer attack. It'll slow down my siege here, but who gives a shit? If I kill their whole army, then there's no competition. What the fuck are they doing? There we go. All right, he's fucked. What's he gonna do? He can't outrun me now. I got him in both directions. Crushed him. A crushing victory. He didn't stand a chance. <laughs> All right, and we'll go back to that siege. It'll reset the siege, which is a pain, but whatever. We've got a much bigger army hounding him down. Where is he moving to? Olympia. I'm just gonna chase him. I'm not giving him any breathing room. Don't let him regroup. Where is my uh, navy again? I sent it off forever ago, right? Where'd I send it to? All right, I parked it right there. Uh, I should actually be blockading ports probably for the war score. Make sure that they don't have war support and that their exhaustion is high. He's just gonna keep retreating. Yep. We've almost got that capital there. He's trying to unsiege that, which will be fine. As long as he's unsieging shit, I don't really care that much about. I can always just resiege it easily. Siege of Sparta won. There we go. And that'll take all of this stuff. Which means I should do a different port. Be up in there. Ready for the river crossing. Just those astronauts on your wish list. Logo looks familiar. Is it by chance the same guy who did fucking hell? I forget the name of the game. I don't know what Astronauts is off the top of my head. Oh, uh, top of the list is, um, is that? Yeah, I believe that's the name of the next game being made by the guy who made, um, Neo Scavenger. It looks really good. I'm excited. All right, I'm going to go knock out that army. This army will chase him down. Do I have all of the capitals on in Greece here? I do. Yeah. At least for all the people that I'm at war with. So now I just need to take that, that, and that. Okay. So we need to go island hopping a bit. Olympic Games again. Okay. Admiral and a friend. I'll send the friend. Yeah. Yeah, I'll send the friend. Because if, like, a horrible accident were to happen and he were to die, it's not as big of a deal. There we go. He didn't stand a chance, and he's backing to a corner. He'll have no retreat from this. Is he running to us? What is that guy doing? Oh my god, they do some stupid shit sometimes. Here we go. Captured another one of his commanders. Took out another one. Another enemy captured. We are really beating the hell out of these guys. Another one captured. Their giant armies are just walking right into us. Wow. Their whole government is getting enslaved. Mm, 
cancelled military access is fine. Alright. And there aren't even forts on these uh, capitals, so we can take them very fast. I can naval land right on them. Their army's so small compared to mine that the morale difference won't matter. We're not currently exporting vegetables. This will give us a discount to moving slave cost, which apparently is better than I initially thought it was, which I'm excited for. I've heard a lot of people saying that's quite powerful. So we'll take their word for it. Oratory advances. Uh, diplomatic range, nice. Approve opinion max, nice. Oratory tech investment, nice. Um, I'm not just about to get Civic, because the Civic advances, I like all three. So I want to save up for that. We can... Uh, we have no reason to preemptively get this, though. Um, I think I'll actually hold off for now. We'll we'll save up a bit. It's Temple of Zeus and Olympia? I think. Yeah, it's right there. It's, uh, or is that the Temple of Artemis? 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 I, I don't know how to pronounce that, actually. I'm sorry, is there a castle there? No. Oh, they have so few men, they can't even siege an un... Uh, uh, an unoccupied province is hilarious. Okay, we just got another guy imprisoned because once again he had nowhere to retreat to. Okay, we'll siege that like it's nothing. Religious proceedings, struggle between the religious echelons of society and the peasants, has recently come into light as the populace at large feels like the religious ceremonies are inaccessible and distant. On the other hand, our high priest and his amendments demand that distance needed uh, to do their distance needed to do their jobs properly and augment the peasant and arg argument the peasants have no rights into the inner workings of our religious ceremonies that's the fifth typo so far they demand they need distance and argument the peasants you mean argue that the peasants have no rights <sighs> Um, I do not want to lose the stability. That is a huge penalty. So we are not closing the temples. Gain religious power and the tiniest bit of loyalty. Uh, Temple of Artemis is on the coast of, uh, of Asia Minor with the Ionian Greek. Gain a stability. That's powerful, because that would be getting us up to three. The, the re if we were to want to spend a religious power to get that, that'd be very expensive. Um, Pens and Rice, time to open the temple gates. This will lower omen power and omen duration temporarily. L lower national um, unrest by a lot. We'll lose some loyalty with some fucker that I don't care about. But we gain what would otherwise be really expensive stability. Like, if we were to pay for this through religion, we'd be paying 356 uh, religious power. So what do I care if our omens are a little bit weaker? I can afford them easily with this, uh, st between the stability bonus and all of the religious power I have. Absolutely, the peasants are right. It's time to open the gates of the temple. That increased our national tax by another 5% on top of what it previously was. Research up, legitimacy up, ruler popularity up, loyalty of subject states up. That is so powerful. What a discount I just got on that. Good God. Is that place at war with us? It is, yeah. Yeah, that's the other place I need to take. Then I can, like, knock out all three countries of the war. Man, they are butt-fucked, aren't they? I think we'll probably go for, like, another half an hour or so, and then I might play some more 007 Goldeneye, because I love that game. If anyone in the chat is excited for that, let me know. Import vegetables? I'll take your money. Our commerce income is very healthy, especially considering we... Have it since we're getting less. Uh, astronauts looks like something to keep an eye on. Yeah, it looks very interesting to me. I already uh, told the developer that I was quite interested. So he'll probably send me a key for it, because back in the day, I believe he actually sent me a key for uh, Neo Scavenger, and I ended up being like top result on YouTube for Neo Scavenger. I really, really enjoy Neo Scavenger. I did a Let's Play of it, I did a tips video for it. It's just a fantastic video game. Stability helps your research. What an upgrade from EU4. Yeah. Oh, uh, we lost the Olympics again. I've never won the Olympics, but I guess I haven't played the game a ton yet. Hype, you're excited for 007 Gold Knight? I'm excited too. We got to a really hard part. Ooh, hold on here. 
The kings that once served Alexander have started to pass away, and with that, so does the immediate claim to his empire. The men who have become known as the successors are now themselves being succeeded by their progeny, the Epigoni. The Epigoni. While powerful leaders in their own right, with a strong claim to the realms of their fathers, these Epigoni are regional dynasties. Dyna- Our regional dynast. Dynasts. I- I think that should be dynasties. And it cannot restore the empire. Uh, an empire now was lost. And cannot restore an empire now was lost. Paradox. Paradox. I've never... I don't see typos in your games almost ever. Who the fuck did the proofreading of this game? I'm gonna reread this sentence. Chat's freaking out. I'm gonna reread this sentence, everybody. Well, powerful leaders in their own right, with a strong claim to the realms of their fathers, these epigoni are regional dynasts and cannot restore an empire now was lost. Cannot restore an empire now was lost. No comma. It's not saying and cannot restore. An empire now was lost. No, 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 no. One sentence skipping words and cannot restore an empire now was lost. Do you mean that was now lost? Like, there's like four different ways you could fix this sentence. They got none of them right. What the fuck? Maybe this is how English looked in 300 BC. Maybe. What the hell is going on? <laughs> it's the weirdest typos. All claims in Alexander's empire are now lost. That's fine. Secession crisis. Ah. Oh, hold on, hold on. There's like lots of stuff in the background. Oh no, Cassander died. That's why it happened. Cassandra the Violent is now dead. And stability has dropped. Oh, the stability we just gained, we lost. Okay, at least it was a cheap. You know, we gained it and lost it on the cheap and everything. I don't mind that. It's better than going down to three to, to one stability. Unfortunately, Philip the Fourth, our new ruler, he's uh, 43 years old. He's not that good. He's actually quite bad. He's not a very good ruler. 3343, three, three, that's pretty lame. What is he? Yeah, he's our blood, of course, which is nice. Lustful, so his fertility is up. He'll have a lot of kids. That's cool. He actually has no children because he has no spouse. Uh, he is wise, increases finesse. That's important to me. And national citizen output. That's manpower. He's cruel, offsets his charisma. Slave output up. That is good for money, though. He's good natured, Max friends. I'm actually okay with his traits. Secession crisis. Reason, the recent instability caused by the death of Cassander has created a power vacuum. Uh, created a power vacuum in which certain uh, certain scheming pretenders are all too eager to fill. Embroided by their avarice? I've never seen that word. Their hordes of malcontents and plot against the throne itself. Look to the future of our nation to safeguard Macedon in these perilous times. Ah, uh, so Antipater has spent his wealth raising a rebel army. Where is that? Nowhere? Oh, there it is. This is the rebel army. Oh, even though we can control them. Okay. That's not a rebel army then, but okay. And these guys have no commander anymore. Just dump this guy on them. He's loyal, and he's our best commander that could be there. Yeah, I can't change your tactic, yeah. Okay, so it's it's semi-disloyal. You are quite low loyalty, though. We could seize your assets. Begin corruption. Discourage deserters. Smear reputation. I'm going to smear his reputation out, right? So that he has no popularity. That will be good. Dynasts is an actual word. I know it's an actual word, but I don't think it's grammatically correct there. 
Uh, ooh, here we go. Avrasis. Avrasis. Uh, Ave as an avenue. Oh, av Avarsis. Avarsis is a fancy word of saying greed. Thank you, Mr. Shake. I've never heard of that word. Unmarried ruler. Let's let's get married. Hmm. I can't search by words, can I? Because I'd actually quite like to tr to search by uh, lustful. Let's do age. Young wife. Yeah, your family. So let's not. Uh, jealous, original thinker, cautious, uncaring, loving, uncaring but loving. That, huh? Lustful, prominent, good-natured. I'm digging those com that combo. I think that's a solid marriage. Lack of a governor, right there. Uh, ugh, these guys aren't particularly loyal. Bribe them. I get rid of corruption on its own. It's one of our abilities. Oop. There we go. He's loyal enough. Right. Uh, let's keep doing our war. Let's keep kicking some ass. Who is this up here? They've become kind of large. They have an alliance with Sparta, but we're not at war with them because... Their alliance seemed to have been made after the war started, perhaps, that or they haven't been called in. Don't know. Alright, so they're already marching there to take that bit of land. There's only two left. I just need to siege that and that, and then we can end the war. Get some cash for developing lands, and take a lot of land itself. Cornered and captured another guy he had nowhere to retreat to. Flight of a Pretender. Great. I think you needed it selected under the traits, not over. Uh, it says Duke Imperial. Oh, do you think like if I, I, I'm not sure what you mean, mean actually, sorry. Um, explain in full what you mean there uh, and I'll try to figure it out. Alexander, once a favorite sibling of our recent ascended a ruler, has perhaps wisely chosen to flee Macedon uh, in moment of opportunity. It appears that he kneels at the very second before the vaunted Senate of Mantien, M Mantina, in hopes of being granted asylum. They can only hope that they refuse the foolish, foolish request in good time. Uh, this will hurt our legitimacy. Or I can declare an enemy of the state. I don't want our kingdom losing legitimacy. That sounds really bad for internal stability. I'd rather hurt relations with that country. Um... Are they even powerful at all? Oh no, I'm at war with them. Yeah, I don't... Enemy of the state? I'm literally at war with them. Of course they're an enemy of the state. For marriage choices. Well, wouldn't I have to find Lustful and then click on Lustful to find more Lustful in that case? Because I sorted it by traits, but sorting by traits just sorts by number of traits. Hey, Marinery. Anyway. We gotta siege these last two bits and then the war's over. Wait, peace imminent? Nope. Uh, it just means it's been long enough. However, we do actually occupy the war hole, so we're fine. Okay. And we just need one more. To try not unsiege stuff like that. I'll just corner him. Box him into a corner, hit him. I mean, you didn't marry the lustful person. You married the person above the lustful person. Oh, did I? I married the wrong person. That is correct. Whoops. <laughs> I don't know how I fucked that up. That's incredible. Uh, Well, nothing I can do now. <laughs> bad UI? I don't think it's a bad UI. Necessary. I need to look at that UI again to... Oh, and 100%, I guess. I guess the fact that I made that mistake probably says the UI could have been better. I think that's probably more of a me issue than a UI issue. I think the UI overall is okay. 
Yep, victorious. Oh, I had no commander on that army? Give them a commander. Time to make an accident happen. <laughs> uh, I don't think I can actually assassinate her. Yeah, um... I don't have the ability to. I think she has to be in her prison, or... You can plot assassination, I just don't remember how to do it. Whatever. We'll be fine. She's loving and uncaring. Siege one, got more slaves. Sue for peace, take every single bit of land. I can, oh, why can I not? Really, I need to have a higher war score for that. By a, a hair. Okay. Well, they're gonna retreat right into us. Uh, they're in too much of a retreat to actually do anything. Is it because they've unsieged this? Because none of that is vital land. I'll just go over there. And I'll siege this bit down here. I'm taking this land. They're not denying me. No way I don't take all the land. They can't win. Blockade a port? There you go. Yeah, I'll blockade a port. Do they have any ports that aren't already captured? No. I can't blockade a port because every port they own is captured by me. They don't have a port. Huh. Martial advance, beautiful. However, none of the martial things are things I really feel like I need that bad. The discipline, maybe, but not right now. I'm just waiting for that, uh... I'm waiting for that civic advancement. Those civic advancements look like good ones. They're trying to unsiege a bunch of stuff, but I'm just gonna kick the hell out of their army. There's nothing they can do. They're just trying to elongate the inevitable at this point. Nope, oh, our uh, allies there are going to lose that fight. All right, we're going to back him to a corner and capture another commander in the process. You've already taken that. Move up there. It's a bit of a walk. Is he really going to walk into us? All right. Idiot. We're at equal numbers now. We just need the war score to be one point higher. Hey, Black Skull Dragon. Oh, we're about to win that fight. Will that be enough? Yes. Can I get all your money, too? No, that'd jack up the score a bit, wouldn't it? Not by a ton. In fairness, the money's not worth much to me. I'll just, uh... Oop. I can still ask for quite a bit. There, 66. Yoink. Conquest of Sparta! The great city of Sparta has finally fallen to our troops and is now in our hands. Sparta was once one of two major powers in the Peloponnesian War, as well as one of the city-states who struggled against the Persian oppression. The... Lacedaemonians, the Lacedaemonians are almost mythical for their undeniable war, war prowess and army strength, despite their minor population numbers. After the Macedonians came to the stage in regional politics, Sparta lost most of its importance, in huge part because of a declining population. With the city under our control, our men and advisors wonder how we should treat our old enemy. Uh... There have been people asking for us to sack the city to the ground and bring everything valu valuable back home to Pella. Pella being our capital. Proud home will not be unharmed. This will increase the Macedonian legitimacy as a country, which I think is very important. It will get our popularity maxed out, and it will uh, keep Sparta's uh, local unrest quite low for being merciful. We could loot the shit out of them, gain some prominence, although we're full. They lose a lot of tax, a bunch of citizens are killed or just pillage the shit out of it. And we gain, temporarily, we gain their Spartan discipline, which is cool, but I think I'm just gonna, the proud home will remain unharmed. I want the legitimacy and for unrest to be low. As for their elite, pass judgment on the important families personally. For all of these countries. We need to reform our government. Our government has a lot of unskilled people who are quite disloyal. Okay, our... Our aggressive expansion just skyrocketed. 
Okay, we're gonna have to have some time of peace here, and we want to take the best of the best of each family here. 72, or 27 members, good god. <sighs> this family is one person, it's just this guy. Uh, he's actually quite talented, I'd quite like him to come in. Lose five popularity? Mm, maybe. Uh, I'd like to look into the families. Is there a, a way to actually look at, like, the greater family? If I go to characters, show families. Now, this is just the ones in my country, is it? Or is this, like, every major family? No, this must just be in my country. What I would like to do... Is, is there nowhere I can just type in this? Is there really not? I'd lose a lot of popularity, but honestly, I could just bring all of them in. Can I hold a triumph? Um. No. Ah. And it, it's just because things demand my attention. Okay. Uh. Oof, that is so many notifications. Um, I could let some in and then crucify the rest to get my popularity back up. How do I know which ones, though? It doesn't seem like there's any really good way of knowing who has all the talented people. I guess I'll just pick based on the heads. Um, I wouldn't mind that guy. I'll take his family. Oh, well, thanks for the raid, Malaria. I appreciate that. For anyone coming in, uh, I'm a dry bread. I do a lot of games. Uh, if you're not into strategy games, that's fine, because we're actually switching over to 007 Goldeneye soon. Uh, we are just picking who we execute from Sparta, uh, because we just conquered Sparta. Uh, yeah, you're good. You suck. You, eh. Eh. We'll take this family. And you're a com good commander. I could use you. You're good at a lot of things. I'll take him. Uh, and... Good commander. How's our popularity getting? Popularity's still 80. We're good. Uh... I like... Crucify the rest. Crucify, crucify, crucify. There we go. Back up to 95 popularity. I'm happy with that. Crucifixion! Yay! And now that we're done our crucifixions, um, I would like to get rid of more aggressive expansion. You're better for the job. I would like more tax. You are better for that job. And monthly legitimacy is incredibly important to me right now. So you are better for the job. We're awesome! I can't wait to see your Fortnite game. I, I can't tell if these are memes because it's a meme to hate on Fortnite. Uh, I think Fortnite is a pretty cool game. I've just never played it. I've watched a bit. It seems pretty cool. Uh, I don't play Fortnite though. Uh, maybe I'd like it. I don't know. It doesn't really seem like, like my genre. There we go. Uh, that war went swimmingly. I am very happy with that. Look at that! Mesodon is looking beautiful! We are so much bigger than we used to be. This is wonderful. Uh, this makes me happy. If we go to political map mode, we own even more of this in reality, because some of these are vassal, are tribal vassals. And so, in reality, like, these places and these places, we pretty much own. Really, all we don't own is this, which is part of a much bigger empire that looks to have exploded at some point. Although it's still pretty powerful, much more powerful than us. We can take uh, that city-state? That's a city-state right there. All right, that's, that's, they're already our, we're already their liege. There's a city-state here that we could declare on. We'd need to get a war goal on them. And there's a city-state here. Although they actually have a powerful guarantee. And then there's these dudes I want to take at some point as well. But, uh, yeah, we're doing great. 
I think this is a good time to switch game. For, so for those of you watching on YouTube then, again, uh, we have a link in the description to the Twitch TV page where you can watch this live, as well as the description where you can watch, or sorry, a playlist in the description where you can watch all of this in a playlist. For those of you live, we're going to go play some 007 Goldeneye in a minute. Until next time, have a nice day.